Ja, haha. Oh! Wow! Wow, th th the harmony changed everything! Welcome everyone, I am String Player Gamer and today I'm gonna be reacting to the final trailer for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom just dropped this week and oh my god, I am so excited! A little bit of a background, if you haven't read my YouTube bio that says I fell in love with the Legend of Zelda series when I was an 11 year old. All of that is true. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is the first Zelda game I officially owned with lots of convincing <laughs> for my mom to buy me the game. I already successfully convinced my dad to buy me the SNES with a Super Mario World cartridge. So now I had to use my 11 year old charisma to convince my mom to please, please, please buy me Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past and oh my god as soon as I started playing I was an instant convert Legend of Zelda fan for life if you were to ask me today what my top two Legend of Zelda games are number one is Link to the Past number two is Breath of the Wild I wonder where Tears of the Kingdom will be when I finally play it or finish it I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Again, as usual, I will be focusing mostly on the musical aspect of this trailer because I am primarily a music channel. Here we go. Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Let's go. I'm so excited. Are we hearing the main theme already? Is this the main theme? Da, 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 da. That sounds like an oboe or a classical style saxophone, but oh my god. I'm gonna go crazy with those first few notes. Oh! Wow! Wow, th th the harmony changed everything. <sighs> I'm nerding out right now. Wow! Wow! The Legend of Zelda overworld main theme is so prominently used. I don't think they featured the iconic Legend of Zelda main theme when they were doing trailers for Breath of the Wild. So, oh my god! If you remember, the leitmotif of the Zelda overworld theme in Breath of the Wild was only used very, very subtly. The most obvious use of the Zelda overworld theme was in the day theme when you're riding a horse but all throughout the game you won't really hear the Zelda main theme in any of the prominent music and I think that was on purpose because they wanted Breath of the Wild to be the different approach to Zelda but oh my god does this mean that the soundtrack will be using or featuring the iconic Zelda main theme oh my god the possibilities are endless I am just oh wow Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Okay, there it is, the Breath of the Wild main theme. La, da, 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 da. But they're using an arhu, the Chinese violin, and the piano, of course. I think the piano will still be a dominant part of the soundtrack like it was in Breath of the Wild. But oh my god, are they branching out with more instrumentation? What? God, this is so epic. Oh my God. I'm <laughs> ah! 
that 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 water ball, that water sphere, it re- reminds me of that Dumbledore versus Voldemort scene in was it Order of the Phoenix? The duel between them. <laughs> That's the hint of a Ganondorf theme. Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be linked. Oh, this instrumentation right here, it's very classical music with a very romantic style violins. But with a full woodwind section, it's reminding me of uh, a little bit of Tchaikovsky, a little bit of the instrumentation of uh, Beethoven. And I don't know, it just evokes so much classical style. This is classical romantic style. Link. This, this part right here, this section of the music, this is very cinematic trailer with all those uh, cinematic drums doing triplets. Tug, ta 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 tug, 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 ta tug, tug, tug. I think that's kind of like the current trend in cinematic trailer music. And it works. It works. There it is again! The Zelda theme! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. That piano and celeste part sounded a little bit like a hint of Skyrim or Elder Scrolls Oblivion, <laughs> and I'm all for it. Look away. You witness a king's revival. Oh my god, that was like a tribal world music style remix or rearrangement of the Ganondorf theme. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm always so enamored when it comes to slow melodies that is juxtaposed with a fast rhythm. In this example, the Ganondorf theme is a series of long notes scaling up. Da, 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 da. But they added a fast beat of tribal drums and oh my god, it definitely changes the mood. It makes it so exciting instead of ominous and creepy. And the birth of his new world. You are not alone. Link. You are our final hope. <laughs> okay, in that last cue, did I hear a little bit of oud or santur? Some, some sort of very metallic twangy lute? And then the final signature cadence, the piano cadence, that is very Breath of the Wild. I think a lot of the criticism of others, not me, of others about the music of Breath of the Wild, they actually criticize the overuse of piano or not actually overuse of piano. They were criticizing that there was not much music happening. And when they hear music, they only hear like piano. And I was like, you don't like that? I love that. It's a different approach. It's now given the 3D open world series of Zelda games, the Breath of the Wild and now Tears of the Kingdom. It gave them their own musical aesthetic flavor. And I am all for that. I am still gonna expect to hear a lot of tasteful piano arpeggios, piano chords being used here. I mean, if you just hear the first few seconds of that ancient guardian theme with that frantic, chaotic piano lines, <laughs> You know what's gonna happen. Link! You must find me.
Da, na, na. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. They were gonna do Zelda's Lullaby. 5 12 2023. That's eight days after my birthday. Oh my god. I am so excited for this. Whew. Oh my god. What do you think of the music on this trailer, everyone? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Are you, like me, expecting a more prominent use of the iconic Legend of Zelda overworld theme? Oh my god. The way they featured it in the trailer, it seems like they're gonna feature it more. But yeah, I wanna hear your thoughts about it. Let me know in the comments. And for more of my content, click here. I'll see you in the next video.